everybody. It's episode three of season three. If you've been watching my Fargo reactions from the start, you know that the reason I started was because another reactor, Brandon, was watching Fargo and I wanted to watch his reactions to the show. But after season two stopped, he, he hasn't released any more reactions and apparently he's going to release one video for season three all of the episodes all compressed into one reaction which is i can't even i can't even imagine how long that's going to be or when it's going to come out so i don't so my idea to just keep up with him is kind of gone out out the window um, due to my schedule, I may just react to one a week from now on, because there's a lot of shows coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, but we'll keep going. You know, I'm not going to stop releasing them. <laughs> but uh, I'm really curious what that one video that has all ten is going to look like. And apparently, he hasn't re he hasn't seen season four. He started it and then stopped it because people on his Patreon didn't weren't interested. So um, I'll I'll watch season four. I'll keep going. I'm not stopping. Once we start, we keep going. We don't stop around here. It's like a train. Well, train stop. It's like a. Did you ever see that movie Speed? <laughs> Did you ever see that movie with that bus? I think it was called The Bus That Couldn't Slow Down. Um, Brandon hadn't. He, he reacted to it recently. But anyway. It's nothing to do with Fargo. What's going on at Fargo? Ewan McGregor won his... Uh, under the thumb of this European-American company who wants to use their company as money laundering, siphon some funds in. They've taken over the office. VM, Varga, has left some guys there to make sure everything's running smoothly and to threaten them, you know, subtly. Uh, the other Ewan McGregor, well, he got away with murder. Two murders, really. Although the first one, he was only kind of slightly... He kind of set the guy... He didn't tell him to murder anybody. It's all on that guy. He just killed a murderer. You know? Ed and Peggy all over again. But, uh... Will that come back to bite him? Of course it will. Because Gloria's on the case. Our favorite sheriff. She's not a sheriff. She's not even chief anymore, but she's our favorite. She's going to solve it, and uh, her department is under new chiefdoms because they've been absorbed by the the greater county. I don't know something like that. Her stepfather is a secret science fiction writer who is now dead. Her son may as well not exist because. Uh, is he going to do something in this show? To, you know, maybe somebody that she has to protect? Now, the most interesting person in the show... I don't know, actually. Maybe it's you and two's girlfriend, Nikki? Does she love him? <laughs> maybe she just wants to... She just wants him for his card-playing ability. They're going to make it big. They're going to go to the grand finals. So yeah, we'll continue. We'll see who gets into what sorts of trouble and if we can think of solutions to get them out of it. We can see who's on the trail of who and... I don't know. What do you think? Will VM Varga get his comeuppance? Is he always going to be so... you know, kind of beyond untouch like kind of untouchable? I don't know. Maybe Sai can run him over with his truck. His tank. Where'd he get that thing from? So let's get into episode three. How will this this plot point, how's that going to factor into anything? Because 
his death had nothing to do with his identity, so do you know what I'm talking about? Why is it important? Maybe it isn't. Is this a flashback? Oh, look at this! Oh, super cool, dude. Is this Th Thaddeus in the past? Well, maybe that's why you are the award-winning writer. Howard Zimmerman. Producer. Do you want to produce a movie based on my books? What do you think about turning that, that book of yours into a movie? Is this the thing that's happened? Was he watching one of his own movies on TV when he got killed? She's pretty hot. Patties, you might have a shot. You like? Oh. Of course he does. Dom, come back. I want you to meet somebody. Oh, she's right there. Keep cool, dude. She's just a superstar. So how's my screenplay coming along? It's pretty good, actually. I just, you know, and the motel's getting pretty expensive. Relax, kid. I got you covered, totally. Do you? Just make sure you keep all your receipts. Oh, he's going to... me, amigo. Mi compadre. Don't trust this guy. Next time, Bubba. Next time, right? What happened? Short of us greasing a few palms, so to speak. He's not going anywhere. But after divorce number three, this tit is pretty tapped out. We're gonna have to find, I don't know, some other avenue. What do you got in mind? Whoop. Well, you know, I do have a book advance. How much money are we talking about? Dude, what are you doing? Why, why? Guy's doing coke and you're giving him money out of your book advance? Oh, I swear to God, if this guy doesn't get paid his money back, well, he won't, but I'm gonna lose my shit. Distracted by the pretty lady? It makes the sex amazing. Back to the motel. Well, at least he's having a little bit of fun, you know? Sure, he's broke, but he's still a famous author. Can he write properly on super drugs? Yep, yeah, that's true. Oh, we get get to see some of an animated version of his movie. Oh, no. Oh. Minsky. Minsky. Help me, Minsky. I'm dying. I'm dying. Can you give me medical attention? You must find a way to get word back. Hey, it's Ewan McGregor. I can help. He, boop, oh, you're malfunctioning, little robot dude. Thus began the wander of the android Minsky. Not yet complete. Was she reading? A child, in other words. Is that a typo? Sorry. Do Do I know you? It's a kind of make believe. Good. Oh, there's a robot, I guess, and he's wandering, looking for the meaning of life, I guess. <laughs> Good luck to him. I know how he feels. Now in the beginning, we swam. Then we crawled. Then walked. Then ran. And now... Never trapped inside a tin can? Is that just somebody she met on the plane, or... Will we ever see that guy again? Where is she going? Is she going to find out more about Thaddeus? Is she on a trip to find the truth? So far, the story has all been about her, her stepfather, and his past. Nothing from the the other people. Oh, is this the motel? Must be. Oh, uh, room 203. Very nice room. Very nice. No peepholes, hopefully. Oh, it's another Santa. What the heck? Taking off with her stuff. Jeez. Talk about, um, taking advantage of an opportunity. Were you in on it, motel dude? Distracting me. Kinda older white male, 5'9". Not sure why they chose here. This guy, this guy. I think I'll get it back. I want to hold your breath. Is he in one of those shows I don't watch? I think he might. The uh, plate number checks out. I'll come find you. I feel like he's in a comedy that I don't watch, but... Maybe the guy who stole her stuff is here. Surprise! What's in the box? More books. 
Ooh, look at this. <laughs> it's just a box that closes itself. Hey, room service? Could you get my stuff that was stolen? Hi, Mom. Hey, Sport. How's your dad's place? Oh, right, son. Good. Dale got me an Xbox. Nice. Wow. Nice. That was going to be your Christmas present. I know. Where are you again? I'm in Hollywood, California, trying to figure out what happened to your grandfather. Yeah, she traveled a hell of a long way. She got further than Peggy. No games till your homework's done, promise? Oh, find that actress. She'd be like 60 now or something? Got a lead on this actress, I think, Vivian Lord, her whereabouts. Wow. Could have a lot of Christmas music this season, I imagine. I'm looking for Vivian. Hey, Viv. What, did she work in here? Did you know a fella, Thaddeus, Thaddeus. Mobley, Remember him? It's not a very clear time for me. Which? Oh, it's definitely her. The 70s. <laughs> but, so even if I knew this guy, it's basically nothing but a dream. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Do you think that producer's still alive? If you change your mind, give me a call. Tell me everything you know. This is... Stop hiding stuff behind your drug dreams. What's she gonna discover? That's what I want to know. Because we know it's gonna... It has nothing to do with the murder, but... Maybe she can discover something even more curious. Oh, Santa's getting lucky. Hey, remember the last time we saw a motel in Fargo? Aliens. Gloria, right? Yeah, pop spot. You found her case, but I get two beers. Empty. You want two beers? Um, think I'll just have a diet pop. Stop. I need to find out who this guy is. Always sunny. Always sunny. I don't, I don't watch it, but <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. I would have seen like random clip or something. Now, are they gonna? Is this because she's single and he's I don't know friendly? And she went to California. What happens in California? Maybe comes back home with you. You know, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> I tried to friend you on Facebook. I don't use that. Oh, good thing. Really? Stay away from you Facebook. Use... You're kidding me. Everybody's on Facebook. Yeah. It's Facebook. In 2010, that's true. I got 352 friends. Most of them, I don't even know. <laughs> but you can post photos, you know, connect, right? Because who has time for... For yeah. actual connection? Your little chatterbox, huh? <laughs> I can't get a word in edgewise with you. Good thing you're so hot. Drug police. You don't got teasing in Minnesota? I don't sound like that, do I? Dude. Yeah. I gotta go drop the kids off at the pool. You got kids? I gotta take a shit. He's, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, so yeah, is that it? Is, is this a date? I, it's, it's not going well. Oh, it's this guy from the plane. It's the guy from the plane. You again. Married or divorced? How'd I'm you, sorry? How'd you know? Your finger. He used to wear a ring. Now you don't. He's perceptive. Which means, if you really think about it, for the entire year, she was married and divorced. Oh, it's like that Schrodinger's cat. Well, All right, keep walking, dipshit. This one's mine. No, that's not. We hey, know each other. Hey, he's not hidden on her. All right, look, I'm just going to cut to the chase. You're gorgeous. Am I getting laid tonight or what? Dude, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. What? Thanks for the beer. <laughs> well, at least he's direct about it, I guess. So is she gonna hit it off with this other guy? Like, I don't mean this way. I just mean in a connection way. Oh, it's the box. It's the box that closes itself. Imagine Schrodinger's cat's in this box and it's... Whoop. Whoop. This is, this is her efforts to find out anything about Thaddeus. She's trying to find out stuff and the universe just won't let her. So it's a metaphor. Metaphorical box. I like this episode. We needed more Gloria. Energy became matter. Matter became oh, life. Oh. Bacteria to amoeba, amoeba to amphibian. He's watching the entirety of the human race evolve. Civilization. Oh, the pyramids are still here. You run out of battery. Each century, he would have to stop and recharge. Hold still. I can help. What are you trying? Why you don't, don't break the robot? Why don't he has good? Oh, I don't need to see this. 
Can you build yourself another arm? I'm really rooting for this robot. Ding! Anybody? The Riders Guild doesn't represent book writers. Well, that seems like an oversight. <laughs> Name? Thaddeus Mobley. This guy. This guy. You remember him? Wait here. She loves her job, doesn't she? Did you find anything? Oh, he, he was also a screenwriter for that one movie that he lost all his money on. Yeah, can we find Howard Zimmerman? He must be like 70 or 80 by now. Howard! She found him pretty easily. What's this? Oh, it's how he speaks. I said, can't you people take a hint? Oh, he's like a robot. I'm a police officer. Police? Thaddeus Mobley. Do you remember him? You took advantage of him? He wrote a script for you called The Planet Y. He was a failure. Hmm? Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Well, this has been a productive visit to California, hasn't it? He's been here a long time, since the accident. Say more about that. What accident? I don't know, it's before my time. They thought he was going to be a vegetable, he was messed up so bad. Did Thaddeus kill him and then change his name to Stussy and flee the county? Bond. I can help! Will it fit? Can you put it in? I don't think it's gonna fit. And then, oh, the one day... As if this planet wasn't doomed enough. Ooh, I'm getting beamed up. Have you come for me? I want to know more. Keep sleeping. I want to find out about the robot. What's this secret information from who? Who the hell? The lady who works at the diner? Yep. Sadius, my boy. Como estas? Why is he here? What, what are you... You're not gonna cry, are you? Run the run scam on you, Thaddeus. I want my money! Well, certainly. But I'm afraid the rather unfortunate fact of the matter is... It's all gone. What? Have we spent it all on drugs? Oh, crying. What's Nobody he gonna do? You to come here with your stupid face and your sad eye. You're a piggy bank. You got played, that's all. You're young, believe me, you're gonna get over it. I think whatever accident, Thaddeus is gonna come back and do it, or do it right here. Hit him with a bat. You see, turns out he's reasonable. He's really a nice Oh, kid. here we go. Do you, do you remember this part, lady? Do you remember it? You're a bad person. Time to flee the county and change your name. I never saw him again. None of this has anything to do with Time to go home, I think. And oh, we better find out what happened with the robots. It's funny seeing Fargo in such a sunny place, even though it's Christmas, you know? Oh, oh shit, it's the past again. Gotta get out of Dodge, dude. Oh, he's gonna throw up. What? <laughs> That's where he got the name. That's when he decided to call himself Stussy. What about the robot, Gloria? Robot get a happy ending on this spaceship? Hello. Unit M N S K Y. I can, I can help. I can help. Great. We downloaded your data recorder and found that you have been functional. It's, it's VM Varga. You have ridden on the tail of a comet, have journeyed to the heart of the sun. Uh, I don't think that happened. I can help. You have helped, my metal friend. Oh, it's the, it's like the box. Oh, at least he got a happy ending. Arby's. Okay. You just appear every time a person says Arby's. Oh, yeah. Are you guys going for Arby's? Maybe. They pulled some prints from Ennis's. Got a match. You don't say. Oh, yeah. here we go. Maurice Lafay. It's all coming together. We drive up there after Arby's. Dead, apparently. Some kind of freak accident. The air conditioner fell on him. Just. Yeah, crazy accidents. Probably we should have a milkshake, maybe some curly fries. Yeah, Not Arby's, Arby's, rules. everybody. We may solve this thing yet. I think they may. 
<laughs> She's got the box. <laughs> ah, there's that Fargo music. End of episode. That's all we need. It's the perfect place to end it. That was an episode about Gloria, a little bit of her son, a lot of her stepdad, a lot of flashback. About the uh, the harsh realities of coming to Hollywood to make it big. And the people, the sharks that will take advantage of you, distract you with a pretty lady while they take all your money. What I liked about that episode, the I love the little B story with the the robots, and the story of you know its little adventures across space and time, and that they got. The voice, the voices of the people who weren't in this episode. You McGregor, Varga, and maybe some of the others too. And they got them to voice the little animated characters. So even though they weren't featured in the episode, they were still in involved in the episode. And sometimes, sometimes it's a legal requirement that they have to have a certain amount of they have to be in the episode in some way. But I thought it was a funny little way of... Even though they're not in the episode, and the story doesn't involve them at all, and we're taking a break from that main story, they uh, they get a little bit to play. A bit like Martin Freeman in the, the end of last season. Gets a little bit of a, a voice acting role. And Ewan McGregor got to use his real voice. Bit of Scottish accent in that. So yeah, this episode was completely on its own. It did... Only at the very end did we get a breakthrough into the murder investigation. Everything else that she found out in California... She found out a lot about what happened in the past, but it had nothing at all to do with why he was killed, and we knew that. The audience knew that. But she had to find that out. And it's established that she's really good at finding details and people and clues and all sorts of things. She found out why she stumbled across why her stepdad changed his name to Stussy. Um, the toilet. <laughs> That's funny. And he was, a, he was a naive, naive young author, you know, sold a few books. And then they fleeced him for all of his money, his advance. And then he went, changed his name, never wrote again, I imagine. Maybe he didn't want the attention. Maybe he thought it would be traced back to him if he became suddenly famous again under a different name. People would put things together. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what he what he did between where we saw him there in this episode and now. Mm. And we got to see Santa multiple times, just so we wouldn't be confused when she went to a really sunny location. Hey, it's still Christmas. It's still. Don't worry, it's still Fargo, it's still super cold. It might be cold, but look, there's Santa. There's a, oh, multiple Santas. Yeah, so not much to say about this episode. It was... It dealt only with Gloria and her investigation. And at the end, the very end, we get the actual details. They find... They found Maurice. They know that he's the one who's the prince. You know? So they know that he killed Thaddeus. And we also know that he's dead now. We know about the AC. We know the freak accident. We know that he was on parole. So we're getting very, very close to Ray in that whole situation. Uh, they'll find out whose apartment, whose AC uh, was you know, who it came from, 
and we'll find out that she is also coincidentally has the exact same parole officer whose name happens to be Stussy. Now that's when it'll all connect. Now will all of that happen in the next episode? Probably not, but we got the pieces. She can put it together. But first, we gotta go to Arby's. We gotta get some food. We gotta get some, some tasty, you know? She's had a long flight. And that guy? She met two guys. The young guy was just <laughs> there for a fun time. And the older gentleman was giving her some words of wisdom. I wonder if we'll ever see him again or if he was just just somebody interesting that she met along the way, you know? Interesting. Two, two, two guys at different points in their lives, different approaches, different expectations and different... And she could talk more easily with the uh, the older guy um, because he wasn't crazily, stupidly, awkwardly flirting with her. And yeah, that guy. That guy's from It's Always Sunny, but I don't watch the show, but I know his face. So. Yeah, so, come on next time. We'll watch episode four. It's called The Narrow Escape Problem. So, we'll find out what the narrow escape problem is next time. Sounds interesting. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. See you next time.